Many people forced out of their homes by Harvey are facing big new challenges as they return to see the destruction. Emergency officials say the storm destroyed more than 1,000 homes in Texas. About 50,000 more are damaged. Chris Van Cleve is in Crosby, Texas, northeast of Houston, where he witnessed some heartbreaking homecomings. Chris, good morning. Good morning. The water is slowly receding here. It's down about a foot in the last 12 hours, but at its peak, it reached about midway up the door of this car. Water going down is a good thing, but really it's just the start of the problems facing many thousands of people across southeast Texas. Jose and Maribel Garcia have taken the trip down Apache Lane to their home every day for the past 19 years, but this time, it's in their neighbor's boat. Is this your house? Yeah, yeah, over here. It's the first time back since Hurricane Harvey hit, but they couldn't get in because they lost the key to the house. The Garcias didn't have high water gear, so we waded through chest deep water to help get through their back window. Inside, it's worse than they feared. What's going through your mind when you walked in here? The couple lives here with four of their adult children and one grandkid. A baby's bottle and food sit unfinished on the counter. Reminders of how quickly they had to get out. As the water was rising, people parked their cars on the streets thinking it was high enough, but the water kept coming. It was a heartbreaking homecoming for many families in Crosby. Everything is gone. Angel Balderas lives down the street. He had to canoe to his house. During the storm, his family woke up to three feet of water inside their home and just had to go. What's in his truck bed is all he could salvage. What about like the baby pictures, the family photos? Yeah, we got we got some of it saved out, but not much. Everything is almost gone. Maribel was only able to find enough dry clothes for a couple of days. My kids want to come back home, but it's hard to imagine that will be possible anytime soon. So for now, they'll stay with family. I just feel overwhelmed, you know, helpless. I don't know what to do right now. A feeling shared by so many around here as they come home to find there's not much to come home to. Estimates show more than 80% of people in this area with water damage do not have flood insurance. No one we talk to has any flood insurance, which means they may be on their own when it comes to paying for repairs. Maurice? Heartbreaking, Chris, thank you.